Hey guys, today I want to talk about service work or helping others or random acts of kindness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a power that you can tap into here that will produce long-term results in your life and freedom from addiction. And so I, I find this to be one of my most important things, especially uh, even if you are just recently getting off of uh, drugs or uh, re recently getting off of whatever addiction you're dealing with, then uh, finding a place to be a help will in turn help you and it'll be multiplied back to you. And that's what I found in my life. And it's actually a, a biblical principle. Jesus said, he who wants to be greatest in the kingdom shall first be servant. And so when you start to serve others, then God can come in and do outstanding, amazing, big things that you could have never imagined yourself. And he'll start to bring other people into your life to help you. Uh, what I say is what you put in is what you get out. And, uh, you know, anybody no matter what amount of clean time they have, can find somewhere to be a help. If you go to your favorite meeting hall, or if you go to the uh, grocery store, help a, a, a man or woman carry their groceries to their car, or you know the neighbor needs his yard mowed, or sticks picked up, or you go to church and you just grab the vacuum before the usher grabs it and go ahead and start vacuuming. It doesn't have to be something big. But it just has to be something to get yourself, uh, your, yourself focused, not on yourself. Does that make sense? To get your attention off of you and onto helping other people. And when you do that, you're tapping into a, a supernatural force that, that produces great, great dividends in your life. The principle of reaping and sowing is what it is. Uh, some people call it karma. But I believe in God, so I call it the biblical principle of reaping and sowing. What you sow is what you're going to reap. What you put in is what you're going to get back. If I plant tomato seeds, I'm expecting tomatoes, not watermelons. <laughs> so, you know, we don't plant tomatoes and expect to get cantaloupes or something else back. We plant expecting to see tomatoes. And the same principle works throughout all kinds of different areas in our lives, um, especially with spiritual principles. If you plant hatred or criticism or judgmentalism into other people's lives, you can expect to receive that back. And, and I have experienced that in my life. And I don't want that anymore. So now I'm planting seeds of love, help, service. And what do you know? that's coming back into my life. God will send people my way to help me when I need it. Uh, God will put people in my life, especially early on when I was getting free from addiction. Uh, that this It was just supernatural the way people would show up to help me and then that I would find jobs and that uh, all the court cases, the way they went, you know, uh, there was no way I had enough money to pay lawyers, but somehow, but God, help me and and that's just the way he does it why because I was sowing good seed and he was making sure that I was taken care of and so when we do service work what we're doing is is we're tapping into a a, a, a way to love other people a way to get out of ourselves and when you tap into because you can't do service without having at least a little bitty bitty bit of love for other people otherwise you just wouldn't do it you stayed home and, uh, you know, even if you get there at the meeting and, and just make coffee beforehand, that's doing something for, for other people to make their life a little bit easier, no matter how minimal it is. And God will see that and reward you back. And be committed to those things that you do. Don't just do it once and expect to see great things happen all of a sudden. You know, be uh, consistent with what you're doing. You know, show up every meeting that you go to a little bit early and keep doing that. And that's, you know, inconsistency is where the power is. So I just want to encourage you, find somewhere to do something good for other people. It's not that hard. There's always something you can do to get the attention off of yourself. Because as long as you're focused on yourself, you're just going to end up thinking about those same old things again and end up right in the same spot you were before. And we don't want to go there. But when you're doing service work, your attention is on other people 
and, and helping other people and you don't have time to think about yourself or your addiction and 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 it just all of a sudden becomes low on the list uh, the the addiction all of a sudden becomes very low on your list of things you think about because you got all these other things going on that are so great and that's uh, I hope I explained really well how that works um, all as I could say is I can't explain everything about it, but I do know that it does work when you go to help other people, and when you go to uh, find a need and fill it, then, then God will keep you full. And so thank you, Jesus. Well, if anybody, if nobody's told you they love you today, I love you, and we'll see you on the next one.